by God's wonderful grace and mercy this morning and the Holy Spirit direction uh, we have a scripture verses to use for our proclamation this week this morning taken from the great prophet Isaiah chapter 25 and uh, we will read portions of it not all true out and uh, so we want to read chapter 25 of Isaiah verses 1, 6, 8, and 9. And uh, when we read it on our own, the whole uh, chapter will understand why. But the purpose is to encourage, it's scripture verses to encourage us, to motivate us, to help us know what God has said. And uh, of course, uh, there are times, uh, words there that sometimes uh, has a negative term, but we want to pick only the words that will possibly improve our spiritual understanding of what God has said and also to encourage us, basically encourage our soul. So let us hear what the great prophet Isaiah wrote. Uh, based upon God's uh, commandment, the prayer, reading chapter 25, Isaiah verses 1, and then we'll read the other as we said. So, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise th uh, thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Verse 6. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees of fat things, full of marrow, of wines, of on the least well refined verse 8 he will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for the Lord hath spoken it nine and it shall be said in that day lo this is our God we have waited for him and he will save us this is the Lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation Amen. And now let us please all proclaim from the personalized version of the verses we just read. Let us all proclaim Isaiah 25 verses 1, 6, 8, and 9. Oh, my merciful, gracious Lord God of heaven and earth, my everlasting, almighty, compassionate, and loving God, hallowed be your blessed name. Thank you for the atoning blood bought sacrifice that your begotten Son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, paid on Calvary's cross to purchase my salvation. My glorious Father, please accept my humble sacrifice of testimony for your everlasting salvation and providential blessings upon my life. O oh, my El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, you are my God, 
I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth, and your holy Mount Zion, you, my El Elyon, the Most High God of hosts, will make for all people a feast of choice menus, a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow, of well refined wines on the lees. You, my Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, the Lord God, my banner, will swallow up death forever. And you, my Jehovah Mikadesh, the Lord God, my sanctifier, will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of your saints you will take away from all the earth. For you, my Elohim, Lord God, have spoken. And it will be said in that day of you, Behold, this is our Yahweh, Jehovah God. We waited for him, and he saved us. Thank you, Jehovah Tikenu, the Lord God, my righteousness, for your daily health life and mercy and for answering my prayers in the blessed name and righteousness of my lord and savior jesus christ amen isaiah 25 verses 1 6 8 and 9 this has been personalized in the new king james version amen